five months ago, I had a total knee replacement in Summit County, Colorado. It sucked, but the views were top notch. Now I'm headed back for a checkup. Bye. Bye. I took a plane, then a tram, a train, then a bus, complete with an emergency situation. That bus is called Bustang, and it has a counterpart, the Snowstang. It's a great concept, but stick with me and you can decide for yourself if the low cost, and I mean practically free, is worth it. So close to getting PSA pre-check. Cannot wait. Just got completely undressed. I am starting my adventure today. I'm flying to Denver right now. Once I get to Denver, I have planes, trains, and automobiles all the way to the mountains. One of the reasons that I brought backpacks is because um, I'm going to be walking around Union Station area in Denver, and I didn't want to have to have a suitcase, and I didn't want to check the bag at the Union Station, which I'm sure you can do, but I didn't want to do that. Um, so we're going to see how it goes. And normally I would have brought like a small fanny pack or a purse, but I brought the camelback because I'm going to go snowshoeing. So going to the mountains is kind of a totally different animal when it comes to packing. That is for sure. coffee I got gift cards here when I was here four years ago I got to speak at EF um, their home office here and talk to like consultants there about traveling as a teacher with students and I heard that they like being trained and so every time I come here I think of that a few people stare at me and feeling just a little bit uncomfortable which takes a lot for me I noticed that to my right there were paramedics and police officers standing around a man I didn't want to get my camera on him but I did take a look and it appeared that he had probably overdosed on something based on what a few people were saying around me um, it was just a super sad situation So the bus arrived on time, but then it did do kind of a big U-turn. So we all just kind of followed each other to the other side. So how does the bus thing work? Well, you don't have a specific reservation system, which was definitely its downfall. How much was it? $12.
Apparently anybody that has this app ticket definitely gets priority over anybody that might want to pay cash. And there were a few people there that were paying cash. This one? Yep. Thank you. Thank dear. you. Oh, the bus thing is done. They just found out that Vale Pass, they're pretty sure, is closed. So the next group, there it is. Um, they're probably going to sit on that bus for a while. Meanwhile, I am waiting for Summit Stage to take me to my hotel where I could walk. Half a mile or a mile. So I'll take the summit stage. Fun times! It feels like Christmas in Frisco. Just got off the summit stage. It is a free bus. Um, I took it from near Walmart in Frisco, Frisco, uh, the Frisco like station, to Frisco Main Street, which my hotel is not far down here. But it's really fun walking in the snow. Cute little shops everywhere. Now I have to decide where I'm going for dinner. I'm finally at my hotel. A little snow laid in there. Signing me up on the third floor is so cool with the uh, altitude. No, I actually just pretty well now. made to my hotel. So far, this has definitely been worth it. Is it easier to drive? Not in the winter. So far, I mean, I don't, I think I would even tell Jay, let's go ahead and just do the whole Bustang thing now that I've done it. Um, so I recommend. Why does it just feel like Christmas out here? The next day was my doctor's appointment, but I had several things on the agenda that I really wanted to do before then. First up was snowshoeing. I had never snowshoed before, so this was just something I had really wanted to try. I'm on a snowshoe route. It's beautiful. He told me there's only one rule in snowshoeing. Don't go backwards. So I don't think I will. No, yeah, they're really easy. It's super fun. After snowshoeing, I got to meet up with one of my friends and she drove me into Breckenridge so that I could walk around a little bit before catching the bus to my appointment. The thing that's great about a place like Breckenridge and ski resorts is that you get outside and you do in the winter, no matter what, right? You do. I've been out outside all day. The bus stop is not my forte, but I'm doing it. At the information center, they said it was at Breck Station, which I didn't know where that was, but it's at the gondola, and I do know where that is right here. I'm walking around, and I'm walking, and I'm walking, and finally way off into the distance over here, I think I see where my bus is. This is one of those things you don't want to miss. So I've learned a lot about riding the bus. Um, 
in the cold, it's not my favorite. Without question, the hardest part about riding the bus here in Summit County, and it's free, so I am not complaining, is that the sides are all, you can't really see where you are, and they don't really stop unless you pull the little string. So you gotta really pay attention to time and try to figure out if you know where you are. I did it. <sighs> I am ready for my You know, it's negative 16 or something, and yet it just doesn't feel it. Okay, it does, I guess, but the sun just makes all the difference. Got here early, of course, because why not? You know, I think the biggest problem, and I was telling Jay this, is the cold. Like, if it wasn't really cold outside and I could just plop down and chill, it wouldn't be that big a deal. But anyway, do you like my sunglasses? The other one's broke. So I gotta wear my outdoor biking ones. So I'm in this little hut and you know what? It actually is a little warmer in here. Nice. The bus was on time, but just wait and watch what everybody does. already I only have two seats left I've been full since Avon and already called him since then so right now he's at Georgetown he's working his way down the building and coming back up I think everybody else will be an empty bus um, I have two seats available at the moment right now so whoever's single and here you know riders there it goes without us As the bus stand goes by and leaves us here, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and hang out with us. You're not gonna miss my plane or anything. It's no big deal, it's just chilly. And then I look around here and I'm like, I gotta wait a little while longer, whatever. Because this just brings joy, period. Just period. <laughs> I'm at the backside of the Walmarts right now. Going around to, I think there's a Whole Food or a gas station or something over here. Maybe get a coffee and head back. But definitely not missing the uh, the beauty and all this. So there is a new station right over there. It's just not finished yet. So that's why we are all out here just waiting for the next bus that wasn't supposed to come, but they're sending one. So we said it would be empty, so we'll get there. We all just were like, we don't want to miss an us bus, so someone's calling now. Some really, really happy people right now getting on this bus. Let's see if I can make the train. Here we go. Let's do it. I look tired it's because I am <clears throat> you know the thing about traveling is that if you've ever traveled to me you know I definitely get travel fatigue especially when I'm coming home if things don't go perfectly and it's just kind of part of it and I think that if you want to travel and you want to see the world or you want to see the United States you just have to have the mindset of 
hope for the best, but prepare for the worst so that you can kind of wrap your head around it. So this morning, um, I was trying to prepare for the worst. It, it, it got pretty dicey. So it was good that I felt like I had a backup plan because it kind of reduces anxiety a little bit. I hadn't planned on what if my bus leaves me standing there for two hours, but I had a backup plan. Gotta have a backup plan. So the question remains, was the bus staying worth it? Well, let's take a look at the pros and the cons. We'll start with the pros. The biggest pro would be cost. It is $24 round trip for the bus staying, and it would have been $300 if I had rented a car or taken a shuttle. Number two pro would be I didn't have to drive. Number three pro would be the drive time was just the same as if I were driving myself or as if I was taking a shuttle. Number four pro is that it was pretty comfortable. It had Wi-Fi and USB outlets. And number five pro, there are bathrooms on board if you really need them. Now it's time to talk about the cons. First of all, the bus station in Denver is less than desirable. There's no reservation system to guarantee a seat. They just leave you if the bus is full. There are no shelters at some of the stations, which can leave you out in the cold. You have to be able to get yourself to the station using the Summit Stage or your own vehicle of some kind so that you can get the bus tank. So in the end, you are the only one that can make that decision. Now, Jay and I decided that it would be a great idea to take the bus tank to Summit County because it's not gonna be full probably from Denver. Coming back from Summit County to Denver, we would probably opt to go ahead and do a shuttle. Thanks for watching everyone. I really hope that you found value in this and please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel.